Alright, so Yash96 is inquiring about my Japanese manga and or anime. He wants to know if I have any. I actually do uh, more manga than anime because come to find out most of the anime that I thought was Japanese is actually bootleg. So yeah. I do however think that I have one that qualifies. Uh, mostly because it's not, it's uh, region locked. It's region 9, as it should be. Not region 0, like most bootlegs will be. Um, if it is a bootleg, then it is the best bootleg ever. Um, I do not think that it is, though, because it actually has a company name. Most bootlegs do not have company names on it, so... Yeah, it's the Death Note live action movies, all three of them. I got this off eBay for, I want to say $13, because it was a steal, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. Um, so yeah, we got that there, and then it's got an open cover. It's really nicely done, I really would like to say. It's really nicely done. Uh, front, and then the back has Scary Ryuk. It's in, uh... I want to say Japanese and English, which is kind of why I'm a little iffy on if it's a bootleg or not. And then on the bottom it has warnings, you know, copyright, homeowner only, blah 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 blah. But it does have DTS, Dolby Digital, and Morphic DVD, uh, somewhere on here I thought there was a region, but I'm not sure. Uh, then language, subtitles running time, what well, most of them, and then, okay, I just noticed that, that, oh, uh, I don't think you could see that very well, um, but that actually is on my Dragon Ball Z CD disc that I have, interesting, I never noticed that, and then it's got the Pan-Asia Films emblem right there, which is also on the side, and then, it's a slipcover, actually. This case has had, it did actually have a cover, but I took it off and it's now a poster on the anime show. So you open it up and it's got all three of the movies. It's got the first one, the second one, and then my least favorite, L Change the World. Which is why it's on the very back, because I'm pretty sure I'm never going to watch that one ever again. Um, so yeah, those are the only animes and it even shows the region right there so it's a very well done bootleg if it's a bootleg which I highly doubt most bootlegs you don't have to change the region on your computer or DVD player so yeah alright as for manga I actually have quite a few I would have more but I'm refraining I did find actually a German Dragon Ball Z volume once I should have got it just because it was German but I didn't so, yeah. I kind of wish I had. Um, but no, uh, first off are these four that go together. They are from Koei Game Comics, as you can see right there, um, based off of, I believe, Dynasty Warriors, because Koei Games makes the Dynasty Warriors series. And um, it has a title on the very top. Shin Sangoku Musoi 3, um, all of them say that on there, <sighs> except for this one, this one says 2. So, I'm not quite sure what order they are in, I have absolutely no idea. Um, these two both say that they're volume 1, so, yeah. And then of course, like any Japanese one, they've got the cool little slip cover things going on. So yeah. Um, I really like these. These are hilarious. Just skipping through it. I wish I could read and understand it, but I don't. Um, and then I've got a nice big pile of a hair. Um, some of these, I don't know what series they are from, but most of them stay somewhere or I have a general idea of what it is. This is Nodame Cantabelle. I don't know what volume it is though. Oh, it's number four. It says so. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah, this is number four of that series. I got it for a dollar, so I couldn't resist. And 
And then this one is, can you tell which one this one is? Yeah, it's in Yasha, volume 28. So that's cool. I really like it when I know what the series is. This is DNA Square number three. It's got the subcover as well, which I think is cool. Not only are the Japanese mangas smaller, they also have a cool oh, flip cover. This one has a little insert on it in it. I didn't even pay attention. Some of these I haven't flipped through, so cool. And then this one is Absolute Boyfriend Volume 3, which is funny because I have an English translate. I have Volume 1, 2, and 4. It is not the only one that does that. I've got, uh, here it is, Trigon Maximum Volume 4 in Japanese, and it actually has a uh, bag. It's in it upside down, but I'll fix that later. Trigon Maximum Volume 4. Really cool, which is funny because I have Dragon Maximum Volume 1, 2, 3, and 5, so that's fun, right? Yeah, okay. making sure. This one is some sort of a Tamagotchi reference because you can see that right there, and when you flip through it, I think it's an instruction manual. I think that's what somebody said it was. It was an instruction manual. I'm not sure about that though. I could just be making stuff. Alright, and these two are, yes indeed, Vampire Night, Volume 6 and 7, in Japanese, with the little flyer things on the bottom. I always think it's awesome when they have that still on there. So, yeah. Totally cool. And then Ranma Half, Volume 28. This one has a little... I don't know what they call that, but it usually wraps around the whole page, and then you can remove it. This one actually goes very well, see, it goes very well, it matches with the cover almost perfectly. And then I've got one piece, I'm always forgetting what volumes these are, I actually have a uh, book for Kanji and stuff and I always forget I think it's volume 3 and 4 not sure I could check get out my one piece volumes but I don't feel like it all right and then the last few I'm not sure what this one is but this is volume 5 of something this one is uh, I don't know what it is and then this one I couldn't resist because it's uh did you hear it I love that one. I'm not even sure this should be in there. This is not supposed to be with the Japanese stuff. This is not in Japanese. I take that back. Sorry, guys. That's not Japanese. Why was it with the Japanese stuff? I don't know. Uh, Flame of Rekka, Volume 5. Really cool. I think. And then this one is my most favorited. I probably would have bought it even if it wasn't a dollar. If it was like five dollars a half price book, I probably would have bought it. Well, it's Kiki's Delivery Service, Volume 1. And it's not only a Japanese manga, it's an anime manga. So it is in color. Totally awesome. This is probably my favorite little thing. And yeah, totally cool awesome sauce. I don't know how, but it ended up with a rip right there. I'm not happy. I don't know how that happened. I do not recall that being there before, so something happened to it while it was in my possession, so I'm at fault. Um, but yeah, those are all my Japanese uh, manga and anime. If you guys have any, make a video response or comment. I would love to see them, actually. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And have a good day. Or night, actually. <laughs>